Hi, this is Heide with an Icolorama video about a technique using watercolor brushes with sketching combination. I found this technique as a tutorial um, on the internet using Photoshop and I have tried to copy that into a relatively easy method using Icolorama. I'm using this photo for it because it gave me, qu gave me quite nice lines for the sketch effect. So the first step is I'm opening my photo. I create the edges. And this is kind of a, this is my criteria if I want to use this photo. I want to see nice edges. Like here the roofs and this building and the gondola. So I save this for later. Then my next step is to decide which background I want to use. One possibility that I quite like to use is, and I use that quite frequently anyway, a gradient, apply it, and then using water B, water B, for a canvas. So this might be a little bit too rough, but number 15 is quite nice. If I open it up a little bit, you can see the structure is quite nice. So this is one possibility. But for this particular picture, I actually found a texture in my block of textures that I liked to use, which is this here. And I just stretch it so that it fills my canvas. I apply this. Now the first step is to deal with the coloring. The second step is to add the sketches. So I import, I blend my original photo. I use a brush mask. I just move that up here that it's out of the way. And I reduce this a little bit in size, and it's easier to see. And I find for this particular technique, these brushes here, called W color, um, very effective. Like this one, this one, and these four, they are really nice for this technique, I found. So now I brush directly on this picture, which is certainly not what we will have in the end. Now I invert it, and here I can see what I got. So this is how I'm getting the watercolor effect out of the original picture showing on my background. I don't quite like this, so I remove it all again. I just start with putting a few brushes on my picture so that I have kind of a, an idea where I am before I invert. And then I might reduce the opacity a little bit, get some more subtle effects and increase it. Take one of the other brushes. Maybe try erase. And another brush. So I just try to play around a little bit with it till I like the effect that I see so far. I don't want to have too much and I don't want to have too little. All right. Maybe we leave that. 
so I export my mask just in case I want to use it later on again and I apply this and I save it and now I blend in the sketch that I had saved before now I only obviously see that what is masked so I remove my mask now I see everything and with multiply I get only the black lines look the difference this has made before and after before and after isn't it amazing now I don't want to have all this detail of the sketch so I will take a normal brush with relatively low opacity and carefully go around and just take out a few of those details not everything but just maybe maybe we don't need those people here for example maybe I'll take that all out here we go that's better yes and that's already all done this is the basics of this technique so here we go this is watercolor brush combination with a sketch have fun playing around and thanks for watching bye